Hello YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm back with another video where we are discussing about the interview preparation series. And this time the video is going to be very interesting because I'm going to use a reference qualifier on our service catalog. So how to call the reference qualifier, how to call script include on your reference qualifier in, in your service now server side scripts. So basically these are mostly used in your interviews. They will ask you, they will give you certain scenarios and based on that you have to deal with it. So if you are very new to this channel, do share and subscribe and I am so thankful for you that I have reached around close to 9k subscribers and as I promise once I reach 10k I am going to bring a new series either on item or human resource. You can let me know in the comment section and today's scenario is last scenario we have seen demo of dynamic reference qualifier. This is the today's scenario where we are discussing about we are going to create a script include we are going to use that script include on catalog okay so i'm going to create a catalog i have already created for you guys just a minute ago before i started this recording the session and then so that it will be not uh too heavy in the sense it should not be a too long video so i am going to create a variable on catalog item i am going to use a reference to the user table and I will check if user is having, let's say, admin role, ideal admin role. And only those users will be displayed over here. For example, I will go here and I will type maintain item. So this is a place where you will find your service catalog. If you are very new to this channel, you can check this video, how to create a service catalog from scratch. Everything is discussed. So you can go here, you can check it. So this is the English series. Uh, I can show you something like this. So this is my YouTube channel where you can find a playlist. Under the playlist, you have this admin part. You can go ahead and check. Here we have a catalog video. Similarly, here we have a development series where we have a script include video from scratch, which is over here. How to use business tool, Glide, Ajax, script include, everything is here. So if you are very new to this channel, you have to check this video before you come into this scenario. I'm hoping this will be really helpful for your preparation. So this is my catalog item and on this catalog item, that is two. I have created one variable called subscriber name, which look like uh, this. You can try it. It look like this. So currently if I click on this, it is showing me how many users? 874 users. I don't want these users to be displayed. What I want is only those users will display who is having a role called IDL admin. You have to go and open first user table or there's a table called sys user has rule or you can type user here user role open this what role a user is having so this is nothing but sys user has rule table over here I will add a filter I only want those users to display on the service catalog which is this one test reference qualifier this one under the subscriber name i only want those users whose role is itl admin so here in the user role for all i'm going to filter it with role is let's say itil admin and run it so how many users are, now there are six users so i want to display this six user only so i will right click copy query this scenario is achievable without script also when you go to the reference qualifier on this part this variable this is subscriber name let me open it use all this yeah over here you have three options either you use simple if you can achieve without script you can go with a simple that is one of the easiest way. So here uh, the reference is user table and you can choose a simple and under the simple you have to add a filter condition. So let it load it. The page is getting loaded. So I can show you just a while. Yeah, here you can add a filter. If you don't able to achieve using this filter, you don't able to achieve using this filter, then what you will do? You have to go with the option for advanced address polypar. Here you have to write a script. So what you have to do is first go back to user room. Now I want to display these users. So this time I'm going to use call script include. What is script include? You can tell me the definition. 
on in the comment section basically it is used to it's a place where you can write a service now glide scripting or people used to say java script my personal favorite is glide only so we are not talking about java and all that's glide scripting and you can reuse it at multiple places multiple places means client side also and server side also you have to use on client side and you have to choose this client callable checkbox if you only use to have on the server side you just write it down so this part i have already discussed in my previous videos you can go ahead and check it development series so first of all just type let's say test ref load this is my name and if you notice if i click outside api name is nothing but application name dot script include name see application name dot script include name why global is written because it is a global application if you change this application to hrsd or csm or fsn you will find this will change to hr code or hr employee center dot test whatever it is so you can access any scoped application script include on your global application using this word called global or vice versa now i will not go in details about it because we have already discussed we'll go down and we will create a function first the function is not created like this over here which we are not going to create function function name and we will put something like this bracket on bracket close but here in a script include we don't use like this first of all we have to create a function name first so let's say function name is itil admin and you have to give a colon and then type function this is the format of a script include to create a function open it close it and at the last you can give comma now this is first set of function you can define n numbers of functions second third fourth five six they can define like this copy paste paste and you can change the name this admin one admin one one so this will be the three different functions which you can use it or more than three or n numbers of so here we are going to tell by service now here service now go to the user role table add the filter and use the same thing on your service catalog reference body well, how to achieve it first of all as you know how to write a server side script to go to any table we know that we have to use glide record so variable let's say user rule equal to new glide record and what is new what is half of what what's the meaning actual meaning of new what is the meaning of glide record it is already discussed in the development part so you can come here click on this go to the youtube search service number b and there you can go ahead and open this channel and on this channel you have playlist go to the playlist and here you have a development series scripting series here you will find what is glide what is new every object i have discussed about so you can go and check control a and i will make it forward glide record now glide record to which table where i have to go so first of all choose this table name table name is sys user role guys remember this is the table name not this this is the label of the table not the backend name of the table backend name is this one put this back user loop dot i'm going to add a encoded query why encoded query because i already had a filter so sorry encoded i already had a filter applied which filter this is a filter right click copy query i will show you multiple scenarios going forward with the script take loop where you can pass a par parameter or argument inside a function that also you'll see in the upcoming classes now user dot query while user dot next while while user dot next can anyone tell me what is the meaning of dot next please put in the details in the chat section now here what i will do is i will define a function I have already defined a function. Already. I will define a variable. Let's say a uh, role info. This is my variable, name. and I am going to create a variable in the format of array, like this. Array. And so by this, 
this function. Sorry for that. This function. This bracket represent array. Array is nothing but collection of your elements. Collection of your data. Separated by comma. It could be 1 comma, 2 comma, 3. It could be strings. It could be characters, any characters. So what I want is whatever the rule I am getting from here, I will push this to array and I will return this array. Now how we can achieve it? So simple. Control A. First of all, do this. Now first here what I want is I want something like this. Okay, no problem. I want the username to be pushed. So what is the packet name of username? So if you have a SN util already installed, you can double click outside or you can right click, go to the SN util tool and technical name. It's user only. Else open any anything from here like this and check the packet name. Packet name is right click user. So choose anything which, which you like. I like SN util. So I will copy this. And I will push everything to this array. So I will put rule, rule info dot push, push of what? So whatever the object we created over here, user rule dot, what is the backend name of user? Small user. So I will use small user. So all the details will be pushed inside the array. Means six users will be pushed inside the array. And you can actually write a log also here. You can write gs.log. And let's say insert plus you can give this. You can print it in the log table. Now after this, what I have to do is I have to return this. So how to return guys? simple we have all this information over here the return format for reference qualifier for your reference field is nothing but you will type return bracket uh, quotes on if you notice in the quotes what should i tell so it is a reference field reference field always represent a society guys reference field is gonna represent always a society if i click on this i will be land up on this record it's nothing but I should pass the sys ID, not the name. So now how I can pass? Just type sys underscore ID and you have to use the word in. So whatever the sys ID is, you have to use this sys ID, whatever you are getting from the top, plus roll in. That's it. So what it will do is, you it will get the sys ID from the role info and push it to the user table. Sorry, push it to the catalog item table. So now let's see whether it is working or not. First of all, let me save it. Now this is error. Save it. Okay, so this is the save. The script include is inserted. Now I will call this a script include on the subscriber reference qualifier. So the format of it is nice. First of all, you have to type Java script colon object name, which is new, not object name, new keyword, which acts as an object. And here you will pass the script include name. So my script include name is test role ref copy. Okay, you have to give bracket on bracket off dot function name. So what is my function name? IDL admin. That's it, guys. If I save it now, currently it is showing you all the records. Now, uh, if everything is correct, if my script is script is correct, it's gonna show you only six records out of seven hundred plus. Now, this is how you will call it. So, JavaScript, new, your script include name, which is over here, and the function name. That's it. Don't have to do anything over here. Now, let's go back and again check the script is correct or not. 
So first of all, I have written a function name, then function, role info, and then we are going to going to the user has role table. We are checking it user dot add encoded query which role it is. So here we have uh, the ITL role, and these are the six users. So, okay, now user dot query, not user dot query, user role dot query, user role dot next. And now you are pushing it user role dot. What is that? User. So instead of this, we can use this also user dot get value of user. Okay. And even we can push this inside after query. So let's say after query, I'm defining a variable called rule info push user log. I can put log as user test at the rate give some space now sys id in so yeah i will explain you this again so what we have to pass here is we have to pass sys id because it's a reference fee so sys id is something called backend name is underscore id and in plus and whatever you are passing over here rule info that's it if everything goes correct so i am going to get the data in our reference qualifier. So let's refresh the page page and check. So I click on this. One, two, three, four, five, six, six users. You can cross validate, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six users is having this view. I can select any of these users. You can see. So I have restricted list of users from the script include. And I have all that script include on our reference qualifier using this technique and even you can check the logs so user test at the rate box now see it is passing the sys id if you notice all the sys id is getting passed so that is that is what in the form of array push you have pushed first this one then these two will be pushed then at the last all six will be pushed together because it is in the while loop. If you notice, it is in the while loop. So first will push, then again second will push, third, fourth, five, six. So it will be pushed. If you put that back from here to here, then it will find the row slide away over here. So it's all up to you. So this is what I wanted to explain you. In the next video, I can pass a parameter inside it. I will not use this hard code information. I will take the information from the catalog. Let's say I will create a another variable called subscriber location. On a subscriber group so if i click on subscriber whatever the name his name according to his name the group will auto populate over there that we will do it in the next part so that's all for today and if you have any query do let me know and do ping in the comment sections till then be happy and thank you so much for being part of my community thank you so much bye